Just want to say something real quick before I get into the video, this will only take 15 seconds. Lots of you will know YouTube is terrible at sending out notifications and putting videos in sub boxes correctly, so please, if you haven't already, click that notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my recent upcoming videos. Because occasionally videos will just not go to sub boxes and notifications won't get sent out, so if you don't want to miss any video, just click the notification bell. I've never actually plugged my notification bell before, so I thought I'd do it once, see if it helps me out at all. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe as well. We're on our way to 100,000. Anyway, let's get into the video. How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Got another different kind of video today, which is sort of similar to a video I did a few weeks ago, which did really well. A few weeks ago, I did a video on 10 of the surprisingly fast cars in Forza Horizon 4, which basically I showcased 10 cars which were surprisingly fast um, to what you usually think there would be. And in today's video, we're doing something a little bit similar, but a little bit better. We're going to take a look at 10 of the highest horsepower cars in the game. So if you're the type of person that just likes to drive cars which have an insane amount of horsepower, then this video is for you. Now these are going to be in a particular order. It's going to go from number 10 to number 1 of the highest horsepower cars in the game. Now just a quick thing I'd like to say before I get massively into it. As many as you know, there's quite a lot of cars in the game which can be upgraded with the V12 engine swap to 1515 horsepower, like these two cars right here. And because there's so many cars which can reach 1500 horsepower from that engine swap, I'm not actually going to include any of those in this video. This is going to show 10 of the exclusive high horsepower cars that you can only really get in that car, and quite a lot of them are over 1500 horsepower anyway. But just keep that in mind, we're not going to show 10 cars that have the same engine swap, like this Maserati as well. This has the V12 and it's at 1515. We're not going to show any of those. These other cars are even better. So anyway, let's jump into the top 10. Number 10 is actually the fastest car in the game, which stands at 1439 brake horsepower. It is the McLaren F1 GT. Many of you will know of this car as the fastest accelerating car in the game, and this is actually only number 10 on the list. There are 9 other cars which actually have a higher horsepower number than this one that's not the stupid V12 engine swap. And to be honest with you, if you're going to spend any money on any of these cars on this list, I would highly recommend getting this one. It's one of the fastest accelerating after the lot, and it's still got over 1,400 horsepower. It sounds insane, it accelerates like a monster, and it definitely deserves a spot on this list, but it only just reaches number 10. Number 9 is also one of my favourite ones on this list. This was actually in my other video showcasing 10 surprisingly fast cars in Forza Horizon 4. Not many people look at the Porsche 918 and think that it can be fully upgraded to be one of the fastest cars in the game. Unlike the McLaren P1 and the LaFerrari for example. But I think the reason this is so fast is because you can upgrade it with a standard engine to 1441 horsepower which is just a bit more than the McLaren F1 GT so again this only just gets itself onto the list so if you're on a bit of a budget this is a very nice car to buy fully upgrade and have a nice high horsepower car in your garage with no engine swaps with 1441 brake horsepower takes the number nine spot Number 8 is one of the cars which we all kind of knew would have to be on the list. Unfortunately, there are a couple of cars on this list which just come with an insane amount of horsepower, so I can't not put them on the list. And number 8 is the Bugatti Chiron, which has 1,479 horsepower. So this car is nearly in the 1,500 horsepower range already, and we're only at number 8 on the list. Bugatti Chiron just speaks for itself, it's a very fast car, comes with an insane amount of horsepower. It's a little bit pricey, but obviously deserves its number 8 spot on the list with 1,479 horsepower. Number 
Coming in at number 7 on the list is another car which is in the 1400 to 1500 horsepower range, but it is the last car within that range. And it is the Ferrari F12 TDF, which is another car that not everyone will look at and think that it's going to be one of the fastest, highest horsepower cars in the game. But trust me, it is, and it stands at 1495 horsepower. Quite a few of these first cars are quite close to each other in horsepower, but from now on the horsepower difference is a big amount compared to these ones. Number 6 is another car which couldn't not be put on the list because it comes with an insane amount of horsepower but from now on these next cars are absolutely ridiculous and they're nowhere near the horsepower of this car which stands at 1500 horsepower. With number 6 on the list, the Koenigsegg Regera with only one gear, it's quite a pricey car as well, but it's unlike any other because it only has one gear. It accelerates like a monster, so get ready boys because after this car, the next cars are absolutely crazy. Number 5 on the list is the Dodge Viper SRT10 Formula Drift Edition. This car stands at 1737 brake horsepower and it's only number 5 on the list. This thing that lots of people will be able to get for free, you need to put some turbos on it to make it get the 1700 horsepower, however that's not that expensive and it honestly accelerates insanely quickly as well. But it's safe to say the Dodge Viper sounds cool, it accelerates nicely and even though it's rear wheel drive and can, you know, it spins quite a lot. It spins in a fun way and it's honestly fun to drive. Number 4 on the list is also in the 1700 horsepower range and it is the new Funko Motorsports F9 which has come with the brand new Fortune Island update. And it's kind of like a really weird wheelie jelly car type thing. It will occasionally get its front two wheels off the ground when you're going around a bend flat out. It's a really weird car to drive, but it's very fun because it's got 1,750 horsepower. It's certainly, very, it's certainly very different from most of the cars on this list because this is kind of a kind of an off-road buggy type thing. But even on the road, because it has nearly 1,800 horsepower, it's still an absolute monster. And number three on the list, we have the car that everyone was expecting to be on this at some point, but I bet quite a lot of people expected this to be close to the number one spot, which is the Aventador Forza Edition, which stands at 1,863 horsepower, but it's only number three on the list. This is one of the fastest accelerating cars in the game, it's definitely on par with the McLaren F1 GT, however I don't believe it beats it. I know I said I wouldn't include any of the V12 engine swaps on this list, but this has its own V12 engine. This is the only one that can get up to 1863 horsepower, so I couldn't not include it. But number 3 is the Aventador Forza Edition, one of the most unforgiving cars in the game, unless you crash it into a wall like I just did there. Number two on the list is something that I nearly forgot about, which is the Hot Wheels Twin Mill, which goes at 1,918 horsepower. Quite a rare car in the game, unfortunately. However, it is one of the fastest, that's for sure. I mean, look at the width of those rear tyres. There's no reason why you shouldn't own a Hot Wheels Twin Mill in your garage on Forza Horizon 4, because it is the second highest horsepower car in the game and it actually uses that horsepower. It can use the full 1,900 horsepower. It's an absolute beast in a straight line. Not too good in cornering, but come on, you've got to own one. So in number two, we've got the 1,918 brake horsepower Hot Wheels Twin Mill. Now the number one spot is actually a tie. There are several cars in the game which have this same engine swap, which performs 2,400 horsepower, which you can get in the Mercedes Unimog, the Mercedes racing truck, the Volvo Iron Knight and stuff like that. All of those cars, and I'm stuck here, aren't I? All of those cars pull 2,400 horsepower with the engine swap in. 
and it's not the most exciting car in the world you know it doesn't perform like a usual 2400 horsepower car but I can't not put it on the list because it genuinely is the highest horsepower car in the game I don't drive mine that much it's just cool to have a 2400 horsepower car sitting in the garage I guess so yeah as I said this kind of video is half and half half of the cars are insane above 1500 horsepower and half of them are below 1500 horsepower and if I were to use all of the V12 engine swap cars which there's like 60 of it would have taken up half of the top 10 list and let's be face it not many of us like the V12 swaps anyway so this is just so this is a bit different <laughs> Ah, oh, that's entertaining. Let's do it again. <laughs> You're dead, mate. Oh, yeah, something else cool about the Unimog. It's got 10 gears, and that's not something you see very often either. The number 10 in the little box down below. Please do let me know in the comment section below if I've missed any cars that I should have put on this list. If you say that I've missed out a V12 engine swap car, then I'll probably ignore you. These are the 10 most unforgiving, insanely high horsepower cars in the game. So yeah, I'm not going to drag it on much longer, guys. I hope you have all enjoyed. Please let me know what your favourite high horsepower car in the game actually is. I'm very interested. And as always, leave a like if you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all in the next video. That is just too much fun. Let's do it again to this one. Ooh.